Hi there, and welcome back. Uh, this is part two of episode four of Warhammer Quest. We're back to my uh, sticky situation here. Uh, one of my fighters and my wizard uh, are in a web. Um, oh, and we've just been rewebbed. Uh, thankfully, uh, that orc missed. Uh, that one's hit me, uh, which isn't good. And then these um, bowmen, um, a few of them can have a go. They've missed, which is handy. What it is, one. Thank goodness for that, they've missed. Right, my magic user's got loads of magic, but unfortunately he's webbed, so that's a complete waste of time. So, have a bit of think about what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get rid of the spider because that will stop anything webbing me in the future. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get rid of him. I think he's actually a goblin, to be quite honest, but there we go. Yeah, knight goblin, but anyway, get rid of that one. So, that simplifies things slightly. I uh, don't think there's much else I can really do. I'm going to have to end my turn. Uh, I'm going to get a free attack on me on that one. Still see him and unfortunately hits him. Uh, and this one misses. Right. For some reason, it's a new turn and I haven't unwebbed. So, a um, bit of a pain. But at least this guy can come between the two of them. Uh, and we can move out of the way, hopefully, at the moment. But you'll see what happens in a sec. Trying to get rid of these ones. Oh, pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Well, that last. Uh, to say my fighters at this level, my fighters are, are terrible. <laughs> seem to get my uh, my mage and my archer seem to be um, be able to hit things easier than my main fighters. But anyway, yeah, the good thing about having a shield is it does actually block quite a lot. So, as I said, sorry about the uh, jumping around. I'm, after these ones, this episode, I'm going to move to a new setup, which I think is going to be a lot more stable. Uh, so, right, there we are. Another one's gone. So, right, just a bit of mopping up to do here. For some reason, my mage is still webbed. I don't quite know why. Maybe because he's just a wimpy mage and um, taking longer to get out of the web than a fighter would. So, right quite close now so I should be able to um, get rid of these two yep there we go thank goodness for that now starts the process of healing uh, oh wow dwarven axe that's worth quite a lot I can sell that because my dwarf has already got an axe of course this time I've only got two winds of um, magic which isn't enough to do any healing uh, which is a bit unfortunate uh, four, I need five so four is not much use this time either so um, we'll be making our way back this is a dead end this way so I was going to see if we've got any more healing stuff that we can use uh, in the short term. Can move them all across. Uh, as I said before, green is sort of the lowest level power things, and the blue is sort of pretty powerful, and sort of orange is sort of master class items. Uh, and as the game progresses, of course, you pick up things that are higher power, and you sort of can buy things when you get more gold. So we've got quite a long way to travel back from this dead end, so um, there'll be a good chance to heal up as long as you don't get attacked too much. Wow, that's good. So using up some of the items now. Just to make sure that we, uh, if we get a sort of attacked on the way back, then we're going to have some sort of, uh, won't be sort of too beaten up. Still, unfortunately, I only got four wounds, uh, four winds of magic, so that's not enough to heal anyone. But anyway, we're back in formation now. The only risk here is that um, in turn, if you get uh, attacked by something, they often surround us, uh, and therefore the problem there is that my two weaker characters are back. Um, but as you've seen in my recent posts, they're actually more success at hitting things, so uh, not too bad. I had six wings of magic, so I can actually do a healing mist. So I decided to heal myself, because if, if I peg out, then I won't be able to heal anyone else. Uh, so most of my characters are already back up to good sort of healing now. Uh, and here we go, so I've got another six. Uh, so I'm going to heal him. Unfortunately, I only get the minimum of one, but um, <clears throat> it's better than it was. Uh, and there's no way we're going to get to this junction anyway, so um, unless we get attacked by anything, we should have plenty of time to sort of do a bit more healing. But, as it happens, we get six goblins attack us. Uh, my Berserk gets a plus one attack, which is good. Uh, he was on one attack, so he's on two now, as he misses his first one. 
but he then gets the second one in, so he automatically gets another hit, another hit. Ooh, that would have been good to get all of all three, but at least my other fighter's there. So there we go, they've done pretty well there. That's three gone. Let's see how my mage... Oh, he's hit, but he needs a better weapon. He can't do enough damage. So, there we go, between the two of them. That was pretty nice. Uh, so there we go, there's one more. Yes, that, that, that wasn't too bad, was it? So we pick up uh, something that we can sell. Uh, have to end turn because not a lot else we can do. Five wins of magic, so I should be able to heal anyone who needs healing. So here we go. Plus three, that's a lot better, of course. So I think everyone's pretty well healed now. We haven't got enough movement to actually get through to the next bit, which is probably just as well because I haven't got any magic. Uh, so here we go. Oh, well, we get attacked again. <clears throat> There's only five of them this time. Because we've been attacked by magic, it doesn't get any magic. Slightly unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Uh, that one's done very well. So we've now got a chance to get rid of. <laughs> quite well here. Right, that can be mage here. Yeah, again, you can hit, but unfortunately, you can't do quite enough damage. But we do have the archer, should be able to. He, he's actually done a, a, a sort of a, a spell on himself. Uh, so he'll take less damage if he gets hit, because I anticipated that he was going to get hit. So he's going to use magic now, which uh, Shadow Daggers only costs two magic and does uh, a reasonable amount of damage. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't manage to finish him off, so my fight is going to come in. Hopefully not embarrass himself. There we go. Fantastic. So we're now in the situation that my mage is a bit beaten up. So uh, he doesn't get enough uh, magic to heal himself. So we'll probably just take her, oh, we'll see what we've got. If there's anything that we can um, sort of use uh, to heal ourselves. Doesn't look like it, does it? So that's a bit unfortunate there. So what are we going to do? Are we going to just hang around for another turn or are we going to crack on? We're going to end turn, and he's only got two, so we're going to crack on. Uh, so we have four giant bats. So this will probably affect me combat in that I'll keep the mage out of the way a bit, so he doesn't take any more damage. And hopefully next time round we'll um, he'll get um, a decent amount of magic so we can do some healing. There we go. I moved him there, so there were so many people that could cover him. Uh, if he missed that. So I can now move that one on because there's no need to cover up because he should get hit a bat. Still got. Yeah, now we've got the main fighter. Yep, yeah, so that was quite straightforward. And we've got something that we can sell. So we have to end turn, not much to do. Got exactly the number he needs to heal. Fantastic. Oh, unfortunately he got plus one, but no, oh well, it's not the end of the world. Decide to crack on. Uh, quite often it's a case of there's a lot of walking. This There seems to be so much sort of distance to travel in this game uh, for this particular quest. The time is marching on. Oh, we get a plus six, so I'll heal myself again. And we'll move on further to the next one. Coming towards the end of this, we've got another ten minutes has gone by. Absolutely amazing. So I'll heal myself. And I'll say goodbye and I'll post part three as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.